Hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is Amira Hall. I am a psychic medium, a channel, and a quantum energy healer. I'm here to help you raise your vibration, tune into your intuition, and manifest a life you love. Today, I'm so excited to bring to you my channeled message from my Arcturian guides. When I was sitting in meditation and tuning in to their message for us for this mid-month of December 2019, you know, they showed me this amazing, beautiful snowflake. And this snowflake was iridescent and it was spinning like a plate on the top of our head. And it was a fascinating picture because it was ever, ever so microscopically thin, and yet it was very dense in the strange way of, of being, well, multidimensional. And I thought it was pretty interesting, so I sat there and watched this energy, and the energy, the uniqueness of a snowflake. For each, you know, there is no duplicates; each one is unique, just like our fingerprints. And I was thinking that this snowflake is a divine imprint for each of us, and it appeared to me to be a soul activation, an energy activation, perhaps even a DNA activation that's going on. And this crystalline energy was activating what I refer to as these three inner rings inside the seventh chakra, inside the crown chakra. And these three rings I refer to as creative rings. And they're like step stones, like a transformer, that as the energy comes into our body, it steps it down so that we can absorb and um, utilize the energies, the cosmic energies. So these uh, creative rings were being balanced and stimulated and adjusted for us. And these three rings, I think, are going to be stimulating that creative part of ourselves. And you know, that creative part of ourselves is what? The ability to manifest. Everything that you see in your life is a creative aspect. It's not only art and drawing or painting or music. Those creative aspects to us create. So I was pretty excited because there was a sense of this pressure building and a pressure mounting as, as this energy was aligning these creative rings and as it was distributing through our entire system. Spirit was saying to me that there's also an acceleration going on in terms of this energy seeming to be accelerated there was and being activated it was pulsing and it was seeming to increase with each pulse it would quicken a little bit more and a little bit more almost like turning up a notch and turning up a notch so some of you may have been feeling things like sleeplessness or maybe feeling super fatigued but not able to sleep um, I know that everybody's going to be experiencing this different and we're also at sort of different levels. Some of you will be feeling massive shifts in your careers, whereas others of you might be noticing it in relationships or with your health. So, you know, there's a big sense in this energy as much as it is an acceleration and activation of our unique creative aspect. Um, and, and by the way, I do believe we are all here for a purpose. And that purpose is to create and to know yourself. So in alignment with that, you know, Spirit is saying to me that it's ultra important for us to be taking back our power. So it's not so much about running around doing everything for everybody else, but it's about self-healing and, and knowing and unifying that energy in a way so we can create in alignment with what our soul is calling us to do. My sense is that in part of this taking back your power or our power, there's going to be some anger that's being triggered and it's as if this anger is is part of us that's sort of pushing us into gear or pushing us to take certain action in a particular direction that will support us in our next step. Spirit is saying that something within you is dying. They showed me a picture, you know, when you see a heart monitor or somebody on life support, you see the pulses, you see the heart pulsing and you see it on a monitor and then all of a sudden it flatlines. And that's what Spirit was giving me a picture of. Some of us are flatlining. Now, it doesn't mean we're dying per se, but there's an aspect within each of us that is dying, dying away. Maybe an old part of you that no longer serves you, for instance, 
maybe you're a hoarder and you decide you're going to get rid of it all and clean out every closet and throw out stuff that you've been collecting um, your entire life and in fact I was talking to some friends the other day and they've been very good collectors let's say and saving things from from their elementary school and and all of their papers and their artwork etc and they just pitched out you know 20 years of tax records and old things that were all falling apart so so you might notice in your own life what are you getting rid of are you getting rid of relationships or stale uh, ways of being perhaps getting rid of some old clothes maybe maybe it's a belief system maybe it's the way you're thinking that you're just saying you know what I don't believe that anymore spirit is saying for us to take a risk to step out and do something different something that perhaps we've never tried before and then they showed me this picture of an earth so it's as if I was in space and I was looking at a distance at earth and then what they did was they showed me a brand new version of Earth being superimposed over the old Earth. You may hear of people in the healing modalities talking about the new Earth. Well, my sense is that this is a new dimension of Earth being dropped in per se, or, or accelerated, or we're taking a step up, but a whole new version of the three dimensional experience we have here in the body on earth is going to be shifting. Within this new sense of new earth, there's a sense here that we need to be giving to ourselves in a new way, perhaps putting ourselves first in a new way. Spirit is saying that we're taking a step up in a self commitment to ourself, into our own purpose, our soul's growth, and perhaps in our heart of hearts. What is it that we really long for? What is it that we've been dreaming of? What is something that you've always thought that you'd never be good at or what one thing within your heart have you not listened to that's saying you need to follow your heart? So these crystalline snowflake-like energy activations at the crown level is triggering us to take an accelerated step. Some of you may be feeling like you're being pushed faster than you'd like to go, but we are being triggered into a big shift. I've been saying this for a while now, but this over the next 60 days is something that's really going to be activated in a bigger way. And it's, and it's really important, Spirit saying, to remain grounded, staying present. And you know, in talking to my students and other colleagues, we're noticing ourselves that it's been feeling a little floaty, even though I've been feeling present I've been feeling like I'm like in between dimensions almost I know that sounds a bit crazy <laughs> but it's almost like a little floaty or a little bit almost dreamlike in a sense you may have been noticing this yourself and spirit explained to me when we have an iPhone update or an Android update a lot of apps stop working and things just don't work as they did and so once we update the phone well there's some big changes isn't there there's some adjustments things to get used to sometimes things don't work at all and so that you know we have to delete them and so that is kind of what we're going through we're going through an update we're going through an activation and sometimes all the iPhone needs is to turn it off and to reset it and so spirit is saying that this is what we're needing to do so some things have to fall away in order for us to take our next steps sometimes it's a complete new reboot and that might mean you know taking more time in in nature or in meditation but paying attention to yourself and what your needs are and listening to that heart what is it that your heart wants to do so in taking a look at my soul wisdom cards today I um, was guided to this card for our message mid-month of December and you know the first thing that comes to me is spirit is saying hats off to you for all the changes and all the shifts that you're willing to make and the, all the preparation you've been doing some of you have been doing an awful lot of work and they really want to acknowledge that I'm really drawn to the female who's got her arms across her chest here and it's almost as if she's closed off and she's closed down her heart space and as spirit said earlier in the message you know listening to your heart opening your heart taking a risk and I feel that that's a part of us that needs to open up and trust that you're being guided you can see the hand off into the shadows I feel like our guides are trying to show us the next step even though we can't see what that might be 
to take a risk. We've got the support. We do have spirit behind us and our guides are there for us. This very strong chain that I see dividing the two people, you know, the, the chain actually reminds me of the DNA, our DNA. And perhaps we have some uh, physical adjustments that we're fine-tuning. Some of us are strengthening ourselves at the physical body level. I see that apple, you know, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Focusing on our health, being um, grounded, being present, taking care of what we our needs are to be met. I also feel that perhaps some of you are needing to let go of relationships that maybe you've been clinging to or you're afraid to walk away from or even changing how the relationship is changing um, in terms of this new energy. And Spirit is saying the time is perfect to take the next step, to trust your intuition, to take a risk. It's the right time and any time is the right time. But as you listen to that perfect and being in that flow, as you make those choices, it's the perfect time. And Spirit is also saying this is the time to take the step to trust. There is a window of opportunity here over, I'm feeling like the next 45 to 60 days where we're really, we're, it's still building to where we're going to be launched into this whole new direction. So with that said, I was guided to a painting to share with you and give you a, a better sense of what their message is. And, you know, in this painting, I'm going to move over a wee bit to show you. What my sense was is, yes, it looks like water and there's a lot of bubbles popping. But my sense is, which way do we perceive it? Which way is your perspective to harmony? Or which is the next direction or next step? So I felt like, well, this is interesting. It could be in any direction and there's no wrong direction. And my sense is that there's a lot of movement going with the wave. There's also some zigs and some zags. I also feel that there's an uplifting in this, in this painting where it's, it's got, um, there's some effervescence to it. There's movement. There is, there's the light. There is reaching up and creating new form. And, you know, as waves come in and waves go out, there is no wave that is ever the same. So we're riding this, this current and this wave. And when we're in this flow, we are going to find that our expression and our creativity is also expanding and taking on new directions. So I sure hope that helps um, you understand what some of these new energies are and how we're being challenged to stretch and take a next step and take another risk and tuning into our intuition and trusting it. So more, most importantly, listening to your heart and tuning to all of this exciting energy that's coming in for us and the powers for change and redirection and creative manifestation and abundance. I really want to wish you the most successful, abundant and joy-filled 2020 that's just around the corner. We're already starting to step into the energies, but I can't emphasize enough of how important it is for you to take another stab at releasing some of those energies and emotions that are no longer serving you. And I'm here to give you a hand with that. So there is a link below that where you can get access to some special healing work to take all that to give yourself a fresh start for 2020, where you can take on that new heart space in your own life and in your in a new direction. Thank you again to everybody for joining me here and supporting me over the last year and, and previously. It's a delight for me to be here with you, sharing these messages and to admiring and relishing in all the exciting joys and shifts and changes that you're making in your life. I always enjoy reading all about what you're noticing is different. So don't forget to leave me your comments too. And if this video resonates with you, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the button because YouTube's making all kinds of changes and I sure want to make sure that you get the next update. With all my heart, I wish you a very happy holiday season. Happy, happy new year, abundant, joyful, and I'll look forward to talking to you in the new year.
Hey, Amira. Everything is just turning out to be absolutely amazing. I actually have no words. I don't know how to thank you. Things are just turning out to be fabulous. First thing first, I was constantly listening to our previous recording. I've just realized that how much I blabber and you just have to bear with me. I mean, like, you've been asking me different questions and I've been answering you differently and you were so sweet and kind enough to just go along with the flow. Once we finished our session, as I mentioned in my email, I did get the second deal. Things are getting much better. First, after our second session, I thought that it wasn't as strong as the first one. But as days passed by, things started changing things started happening in a good way. So I realized that whatever was happening was happening for good. And I learned a couple of major lessons that I've been, pre I've been preaching them for years, but I've never practiced them. And I could never imagine myself that today I'm sitting in a point where I'm actually practicing them.